Hello, and welcome to the darkest timeline. Uh, film podcast. Hello, and welcome to the darkest timeline. I'm David, and these three Judases are Judases. I'm Dylan. Judas. I'm miserable. There's a cot. That was Ian. Uh, Dave's going to say something stupid. That's Brett. Yeah. Go ahead, Dave. Today we watched a movie that should have been tested on animals first. Oof. Ooh. That's right. 2004 Halle Berry tentpole. Halle Berry. Extravaganza. Catwoman. <laughs> I think you need to cough, man. Your your voice is so <laughs> rough. You're in the like you you just started having a horrible I, cold. I'm now I'm now entering hour three of my co-host shaming me for various body inflections and imperfections. Ugh, well, well, how is it hour three? I I like first came in here at like an two and a half hours ago at most. No, come on. We are now in. Hour three. You know what? Yeah, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, time escapes me. All right, Dylan, do that f- thing where you talk about it. Whoa. Whoa. That's, <laughs> man. You mean, you mean the plot? Welcome to the darkest timeline we've yeah, had I'm so sorry. far. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Dave had a rough night. Let's say that. Well, we all had a rough night, but Dave had it worse. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Well, I, I guess I guess we're going right into the right into the plot. Make it real quick and snappy. Because uh, yeah, it didn't sucked. have one heart. I don't. I don't have to do what you say. Oh boy. Oh sh. I'll, I'll just say. I'll just say. Uh, I'll say all I have to. So Halle Berry plays Patience something. No, oh, too long. Her first already. name's Patience. Too long. Which is a virtue. <sighs> it should have been a one syllable name. You're gonna hear a lot of sighs in this. F- Episode, should, guys. We should start out by saying uh, nobody enjoys this movie. No, oh. not even Halle Berry. Statistically, twenty-five percent or twenty-seven percent of people enjoy this movie, but none of them are here. No, so or real. No, that was twenty-seven percent of critics. I don't remember what the audience score really? was. Oh, that's so Doesn't, bad. Oh wait, no, no, wait. What was well, it the, just means that they gave it like a twenty-seven percent. Oh. So statistically, somebody liked so, it. So, so one idiot was like, "This movie's not so bad, guys." Maybe. Anyway. Patience, something else. It's some alliterative name. Patience. It doesn't matter. Get past patience. Is an artist at an at an <laughs> at a firm, and she's wor- and she she's working on. It's technically important, Brett. Don't give me those looks. She's working on a new design for a big beauty product thing, and she goes to turn it into the boss at the factory because the the male guy didn't show up, and uh, <laughs> taking so long. I've, that's like way. Through. I know that's like a half an hour into the movie. Yeah, that's, I know. I, 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 that's already pretty quick, Brett. Well, yeah, movie. the movie dragged like yeah, hell. The movie yeah, the movie dragged. There's nothing happened for so long. Uh, and then she overhears some stuff about how Buleen, this product, uh, can kill people or disfigure them. Or it, yeah, it, it like it disfig- has <laughs> it has some wild side effects. Yeah, their face like melts or something. Afterwards. Yeah, it like disintegrates your face if basically. you stop using it. Right. And I mean, it all, and it also causes like migraines or something, yeah. which is probably worse. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you keep using it. Um, and uh, so then some guards see her and they try and kill her and they succeed. And then she's brought back to life by an Egyptian cat. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, much in the same way as Michelle Pfeiffer in Batman Returns. But that cat wasn't Egyptian. But was it? yeah, they <laughs> they made up a lot of shit in this movie, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> they sure did. Uh, except in Batman Returns, it was cool. So, yeah. And then uh, she <coughs> starts having wild mood swings where she is really timid and then she'll be a complete b- Oh, man. Assertive. Why, very assertive. I guess that's the word. I think she's just kooky. Uh, and then kooky. She, started, she also walked weird after oh. she got resurrected. and She, she walked like a cat. She walked throwing like, those yeah. hips around. I yeah, meow. Around. I get it. She's walking like a stripper, walking down a... Sort of as a pole. Got a stripper like, thing. Yeah. Skip past some stuff to the end. Yeah, please. Um, just do it. I just, just, just I try it. to remember the plot. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. She yeah. wants to. She wants uh, to get back and kill the she guy. She doesn't remember very specific important things about who killed her. So she thinks it's another guy, and then that guy's no, wife I mean, it, tricks her into kill into uh, 
thinking it was that guy. And then the wife kills the guy and pins it on her. And then her pseudo cop boy, then uh, Halle Berry's pseudo cop boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, or well, pseudo boyfriend cop. Mm -hmm. She was he was actually a cop. Well, <laughs> pseudo cop coming pseudo to cop. theaters 2017 <laughs> February. Um, he's a cop. Arrests. Kind of. <laughs> uh, he arrests her, and then she the cat shows up, and she decides that she doesn't want to be arrested anymore, and uh, and breaks out, and goes and tries to get revenge. And, uh, she and, does. And she, she does. Sharon and she, she fights Sharon Stone, who is the bad woman, uh, and and lets her fall off a, a cliff. It's um, good well, enough. not a cliff. It's a good building. Enough. It's, it's building. Good uh, and then the cop is like, "Well, you better get out of here, or else I have to arrest you." <laughs> <laughs> still and, love you, by the way. Yeah, Impostor, I mean, she was think? still totally a criminal who did steal lots of things, so he was in the wrong, and that's how the movie ends. I like how that's the ending you want to go on. <laughs> you know what? Um. You, you took so long doing that that Dave started doing hieroglyphics. Uh-oh. Did he? Uh, I made On a piece that? of paper. 310 what? man. What is what? that? He's the defender of the west side. Oh, good job. <laughs> man. <laughs> David, David's seriously been <laughs> depressing us all out there. <laughs> oh, man. Your laughing cough is the terrible combo. <laughs> the sad look on Dylan's face right now. You just yeah. try to cough away from the mic. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to cough away from us. It's 310, man. It was oh. something visual that didn't need to be brought up. You're right. <laughs> You're right. And then you drew Shoot. part of my shirt. I did. Oh, let's finish this thing. We just started. <laughs> oh. We still got a good, like, 40 minutes left, at oh, least. And that, at the very least. <laughs> That's the summary of the plot, though, is like, it's just started. <laughs> It'll please end. Yeah, that's Ugh. how we felt the entire movie. This movie was, I dare say, terrible. Hey, that's my line, yeah, good Legitimately job. Legitimately yeah. yeah, bread-worthy, terrible. There was a point in this movie, well, I mean, for a long time, in the beginning of, the, in the first half of the movie, Brett was like, oh, it's terrible, because he says everything's terrible, it's yeah. just his thing. Yeah. Even when things aren't actually terrible, no, he says they are, they're guys. terrible. Yeah, they are. You think everything's terrible. Well... Brett. Things that are, can't even legitimately be terrible and are just things, you I call thought. them terrible. That's anything. Anyway, my point like is that the there, there came terrible. a point... <laughs> it was yeah, a terrible pizza. Like that. It was That's fine. Okay. Well, hold That's on, listen. subjective. No, it's not. You Sub no. Why? No, it's not. Because it's not. You, okay, so there's, there's thin crust, right? Okay, good. There's deep dish, right? <laughs> He got something called f Detroit Deep Dish. So no one lived there and it was on fire. Detroit, go right. All right. What, what is Detroit Deep Dish? Apparently it's Deep Dish made in Detroit. That's it's not, not what this podcast is about. It's not what this podcast is about. Oh. Anyway, my point is that about halfway through the movie, I, I was watching it and I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah. This movie was f Terrible, guys. Yeah, it was real And like bad. I mentioned in the last podcast, terrible is a word that I use sparingly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. For You're practically right. nothing. You're right. And <laughs> this movie made it, man. This, <laughs> this movie this movie made it to the bottom of the figmental barrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dave's dead. Dave had to leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> you seriously need a cough button. He's coming back as 310, man. It was a bad movie. It was a, a really bad genuinely movie. Genuinely... Terrible well, it, it movie. Even, I don't know if you know if you can call it a movie. It no, was it was a movie. movie. No, it was it a movie had, oh. because it it was more of a movie than Freddy Got Fingered. Right? I don't know, actually. No, no, it oh, was yeah, just above Freddy Got Freddy Fingered on my fingered. list now. Because Freddy uh, Got Fingered was sketches tied together. This movie wasn't sketches yeah. tied together. I have to say, I might say Freddy Got Fingered. I I can't say enjoyable. That's not the right word. How no. am I going to say? Ha, ha. Uh, no, you can't say I without think making. I, I'm just going to say I think Freddy Got Fingered is above. This on the list. No. no. I'll Whoa. tell you why. It made me angrier. At least it made no. me angry. You're, just, you're not remembering Freddy Got Fingered enough. Because uh, you were remember it. You were livid. I know. I <laughs> hated that movie. Yeah, you just agreed this movie was terrible. That movie was well, the devil. Well, yeah. No, but this is... We've moved on past Freddy Got Fingered. We are yeah, now facing the beast that is Catwoman. <laughs> and, and she is a beast. Ugh. It's bad. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. just... Has the reason I would put it above Mr. Finger. <laughs> nope. Nope. Just move, move past it, Brett. We're not talking about it's it. It's so good. Dave, Mr. Finger is Dave, that 
This had in what can only be considered the loosest definition of the word a plot for t- entertainment. Yeah, there was some conflict here. Just, it was it was trying to be a movie. It was very contrived. Was, no. Yeah, every plot point was very contrived to move on. Yeah, like, and there's long scenes of nothing, like conversation that went nowhere. It's like you've done this three times already. That's enough. And and it had a weak romance in it. Yep. Oh yeah. A Benjamin very Bratt, <sighs> terrible. <laughs> really love throwing that word around. He is terrible. In this movie, sure, I'll buy it. Right. You know what? I'm giving you a free pass, Brett. You can just say terrible as much as you want on this particular one because it's terrible. It's it's truly terrible. So is this really still just above Freddy Got Fingers just for you? Just slightly yeah. above. Wow. Okay. Because it's a movie. It's I'd still I put it under G Force. Well, I, obviously. Yeah, I put it yeah. under G Force. Oh, G Force was but, a tour de force compared to this film. Oh. Tour to G Force. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. This movie nope. had nope. Um, nope. the only reason it's above Freddy Got Fingered is I now have a litmus test for my movies, which is how much elephant semen. Oh yeah, is in a movie. What? Yeah, yeah. and in one a- semen, a- any semen at all is puts too much. It, uh, is way too much. Yeah. <laughs> and Freddy Got Fingered had tons of it, yeah. and Catwoman had none. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It did have. A zero I would, plot. Yeah, I, I mean, challenge you to find a movie that falls on the other side of that litmus <laughs> test. Well, beyond <laughs> Freddy Got Fingered. Have you seen the un uh, the unrated version of Dumbo? And le- the last Guys, t- the last time I disgusting. last time I checked, there's no uh, director's cut of Catwoman where at the end of her whip is a baby. Oh, forgot about that where he gets it by the umbilical anyway, cord. Well, you know, we're not, oh. no, we're yeah, not, no, we're, let's no. not reminisce about that it's movie. It's almost more enjoyable than talking about no, this movie. But that's, that's that's the level we're working at, though. I, I think it's important to reestablish. Nostalgia is hell, man. It's not <laughs> nostalgia. It's we're talking about where this movie is in the lineup. And it okay. Is which, is, which is weird because usually that's one of the last things we do. I, I could help it. I, I, I jumped came to organically. That. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh. <clears throat> Let's let's actually talk about the movie itself. All right. Yeah, okay. There were some things I liked. Were there? Were there? Yeah, yeah, there were. I actually had a lot of trouble with that <laughs> one. I had I had a couple, I I had a couple of things. Uh, I'll, I'll, you go first, Dave. Okay. I the first thing that I liked the most is when Sharon Stone died, mm. <laughs> and she fell out of the building and landed back into the building. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and she had such like this deep. Herculean thud when she hit the ground. Yeah. No, 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 no blood. No, yeah, no blood, no, no bounce. No. She was just f- dead, yeah. and it was just satisfying. It yeah. was just, mm, Yeah, there aren't yeah. very many movies that do falling bodies correctly. Yeah. Like, I can just, off the top of my head, I can think of this one and the Scorpion King, of all things. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I <laughs> saw because that. Because the end of the Scorpion King, so I can't, I just remember, like, I turned on the TV and it happened, okay? <laughs> There's some dude on fire and he's kicked off a thing and he falls down and it's just such a fast fall. It just hits a thing and then hits another thing and he's just stopped. And you're just like, <laughs> he's <Not>. dead. <laughs> so number one was that. Sharon Stone. Right. Number, do you want me to get all of them? Uh, How many well, do you have? Let's go back and forth. Okay. You know, I have mine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Go Straight up Snake Plissken in this. Oh, yeah. The Snake Plissken. Why don't you describe the situation? The best. Halle Berry uh, <laughs> breaks back into some place. I don't remember. It was uh, barely she's breaking watching out it. of the police. Oh, breaking out. Yeah, that's right. She's getting out of the, the police department. So she's like cat burgling up against this wall, kind of like, uh, uh, and then all of a sudden she sees two cops coming. What happens? Somehow she's on one side of the wall. The cops pass her in the hallway, and she's just all of a sudden shows up on the other side of the wall. Yeah. Completely physically impossible. And she yeah. does like that yoinks thing where she kind of like sticks her head out from the wall like, oh, are they gone? Well, oh, how, they are. How would you know she was there oh, otherwise? Oh, so bad. But, and there's not even, it's not like there's a doorway to like to her right because they, they the camera goes around the wall and it's, it's, it's just, it's a hallway. It's, it's a, a solid hallway, wall. And then there's like doors elsewhere but not on that side of the wall. Oh, man, it was I great. I tried to rationalize it at the time and I I failed. Yeah. Because yeah. I, then I was thinking back at the scene, I'm like, no, nope, Nah, she couldn't have gotten no, there. Anyway, no. there wasn't even enough a room above for her to like crawl right, or, or like something. go or 
go underneath and nobody see her by your feet? I mean, it was no. just bad. Yeah. It was. It was. It no, was no, so it was strange. good. Well, that's what yeah, you're good, to good, say. good, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Surprising was, and made you go, ha ha. It, yeah. it was funny. It was. A, it was a point of joy within the it horrible was, movie. It was. They tried to make it good. I laughed at how bad it was, but it was um, good. Uh, I liked. I liked that when she was searching for. Her, her weird, the weird cat shit that was happening to her, when she was searching for that on the internet, she didn't immediately <laughs> find what she was looking for. She found a bunch of other weird shit first. Yeah. That and was then cool. she eventually came, like on page 79 <laughs> of Google. By yeah. weird shit, he means stuff you'd find when you look for cat and woman yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. You just find a bunch of crazy cat lady pictures, yeah. and that's just like, what she found. Nothing yeah. like cat memes, it was great. At least but, it was real. So, I mean, it was very realistic. Yeah. That was that she was had to go even... like four thousand pages into Google to Sadly, find. Sadly, that she was wanted. the most realistic thing probably in the film. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you guys got the three decent things. In uh, the movie. I'll tell you, mm -hmm. uh, I, got I got one more. I got one more. Oh, do you? No. Okay, well, maybe. I, well, okay. I just did one. I I'll, I'll think. I liked the modern dance performance arts. And performance art. That was my second uh -oh. one. <laughs> of, of Halle Berry. All the stuff... Oh, that. No, never mind. No, all, all the stuff Halle Berry did to say she was cat-like that didn't involve CGI... It was very acrobatic. It was acrobatic. It was like something you see in a modern dance, hip-hop, pop. Like, oh. all right, we're all going to warm up today. We're going to get to uh, break dancing real soon. But, but first, was... let's walk around the room and pretend like we're a cat. Yeah, but it was all you very, like that. It was all very balanced and well, yeah. well, well done. Right. Walking around on it was, it was, it was stupid. You guys are literally saying she but was, it was well done. balanced at walking. Uh, like yeah, when like she's on, walking on like, the couch, on, on like, uh, like balancing. She's got wires on, though, for sure. Well, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been able to do some of the stuff. Quite. Yeah, but like, I think, but yeah. that was that was that was well done. It was stupid, and I, uh, I right. have, I have plenty of reasons why it was stupid that. Uh, Brett hasn't even considered yet. And I got, I got one more, but I'll kick it to you for... Uh, the other thing. Um, at the the weird floor show that was going on, uh -huh. at the, uh, the the place where uh, Halle Berry confronted the British guy... Uh, Cirque du Soleil. That, yeah, that it wasn't Cirque du Soleil. Uh, but that, that floor show, I think it was pretty good. I don't know. It was a lot, a lot of floating See, around and flying. And I disagree. I thought that the floor show was basically a bunch of people dressed like cat toys <laughs> <laughs> on swings. Yeah. Hey, I'm, hey I'm, I'm, I'm searching for gold in a, in a I, rat's it's, nest. It's okay? bad. It's bad. Nest. But I'm, I'm pretty sure they were dressed like cat toys intentionally. That's actually a I really think, good um, way really. to say that. Right. I, like that. I think yeah. at one point she actually tries to bat at one of them <laughs> with, with, <laughs> with not with not a slap oh. or not a fist, but like the cat paw. My next favorite thing, I forgot. Her ball of f catnip she rubs on her face like a weirdo. You liked that? You liked that? Yes, because it was so bad. I hate that with every fiber of That's my being. That's why I love it. It's so, so stupid. I, I hate know. It, I hate it for different reasons than you. Why? Well, probably similar reasons, but uh, I have I have specific other reasons. Yeah, his, his what, specific what? other reasons are very, other, th very the comic, cat woman that very was comic book related. Okay. Well, can I can I describe the scene slightly? Oh, feel free. So she's talking to like this I don't know what you like a shaman for cats I guess you would say. No, just and, a crazy cat lady that oh. has a spectacularly clean uh, house. She was yes. well, and she she was a professor for twenty years or something. Right. This is wow. what we would call a level twenty cat lady. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's going epic. Uh, um, oh, she was if if in the movie Up the husband died, oh, right. this was her. Right. Yeah, she did have like a Victorian house in the middle of New York City, which was very weird. Um, anyway, so she's there. She has some stupid meeting with her, and then Halle Berry's character goes to leave, and this woman just throws a ball at her, and she catches it and just starts rubbing on her face like sensually, like oh good yes, and like. Touching her face and it's like it looks it looks just like a ball sack too, which is weird. It's just a ball. It looked it's like a, a sack. It's just a well, I mean it was just a little sack filled with catnip. That's what it was. But the best so then the best part is she's rubbing on her face and the reveal is she goes, It's catnip. Uh, and then Halle Berry's like, what the f was I doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then leaves because she's freaked out, which is fair. <laughs> oh man, that was good though. Uh the rest of this movie. Is awful. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? The CGI cat was okay as long as they didn't for two thousand four. As long yeah. as they didn't do too much, too many close-ups of it, and they did way they did too, too many yeah, close-ups really of it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They did. 
But it was uh, for 2004. That was a hell of a CGI cat. I was impressed with the cat. Oh, that sounds terrible to say that. Another right. thing I would say that I liked about it, mm. and I think this is the last bit. Probably. I would not get rid of Halle Berry if I had to reshoot this movie. Hey, get rid of the director and the cinematographer. I would get rid of so, cut so much from this movie, yeah. but she would continue to be an actor in the lead. Would you keep Sharon Stone? I don't know. Yeah. How about Benjamin Brett? No. Yeah, hell no. But Halle Berry, she could, she's allowed to be Catwoman in so much as I'm a, yeah, I'm, a I'm white fine cis her. male and I have that kind of authority. Yeah, I'm... I'm fine with her being Catwoman as long as the person making the movie has a decent understanding of Catwoman. Yeah, yeah. or how to make so movies. Let's, let's talk about Catwoman. Oh. Or let's let's let Dylan talk about Catwoman. And Dylan's saying this right now. <laughs> let's let let's let Dylan Dylan's have a taken conversation off his glasses. about comic his, books. Yeah, Dylan has Dylan, taken off his glasses and has started oh, talking in the comes, third here person. Here comes the comic yeah. book rant. Dylan talking about the difference between movies and their comic book counterparts is going to be a staple of this season. <laughs> I'm Give, it to me, this Dylan. Roll of Give it to me, paper towel, and use it as a pillow. Uh, the basic <laughs> gist of everything I'm gonna say um, is the Catwoman doesn't have f- superpowers. Catwoman is an agile person with a very thematic approach to theft. She's basically female Batman. That's like her character. She well, is, wasn't she? A, wasn't she is just above human ability. When you're like, should a human be able to do that? I guess. A, I guess. She a yeah. Circus performer. No. No. Oh. You're thinking Robin. Yeah, Robin yeah. was a circus oh, performer. Oh, that's right. Okay. Dick Grayson. But she she doesn't she doesn't have superpowers. There are some Elseworld stories where there is a variation on the idea of Catwoman that does have superpowers, but those are very few and far between. Um, and then and this movie even it, it tries to kind of tie itself to Batman Returns Catwoman, mm. uh, in that, like, uh, her picture's on the wall and in the Cat Lady's house at one point for, like, two frames. I couldn't find that. It's just on the wall, so. <laughs> no. um, but even in Batman Returns, Catwoman didn't have real superpowers. She was just, like, a, she was just a little too agile for a human, and she had nine lives. That was her thing. But she didn't have, like, she couldn't jump 30 feet in the air. Right. Which... <laughs> This cat woman could, and she she could, and she was also way a cat. <laughs> way a cat. Yeah, she was. She did lots of cat things that that didn't even begin to make sense. Let's yeah. go through this list because I think it's worth exploring. Oof, yeah. Make it quick. yeah. Well, I mean, the one thing I wrote about that was she's supposed to be Catwoman, not a damned cat. <laughs> <laughs> woman is still in her title. Yeah. So. She doesn't like water, so she cannot be in the rain, oh. which I would consider to be a huge flaw for oh, a yeah. Also, you know, Catwoman in the comics is totally fine with the rain because she's a f- person. <laughs> yep. Human being. Human being that just uh, thematically likes cat <laughs> Not cat <laughs> but she likes cat things, <laughs> things that are cat-esque. Yeah, it's your fun ants, like, number one hero. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is going to be weird when her love interest, the cop, Benjamin Brett, comes over to her apartment and there's just a box of human sh- with, like, sand in it. <laughs> like, well, that's yeah. going to turn him off at some she point. She would have to be doing that for how cat-like they made her. She that's what I'm saying. really cat-like. Yeah, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense because Catwoman doesn't have superpowers or special sh- She's just no. a human who likes cat ears. And yeah. the dumbest thing and was... whips. The, the cat, like, breathed into her mouth. That's how she became yeah. it. Yeah. I mean... In the comics, Which is how kind of how it happened stuff. in Batman Returns. But in Cat, in Batman Returns, it was cool, yeah, it and was they cool. made it work. And like, well, they were like street cats. They weren't like f- cats from Egypt that still are alive somehow. Yeah, and uh, and there were and there was uh, in in this movie, the 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 whole like the, she's she's killed and then uh, that she's brought back to life by cats and then she has like weird mood swings. And the weird mood swings were also done. In Batman Returns, except in Batman Returns, yeah. they pulled it off. Yeah. And she it made sense that she was kind of going crazy because she had been through a wildly traumatic experience of dying. But that never really came through in this movie. And she just kind of seemed like, like oh, she's kind of like a cat, but she's also being a weird bitch all the time, sometimes. Oh. Assertive. It's funny, in the beginning of the movie, she has this terrible haircut. 
And her hair's like always in her face. I'm like, get your hair out of your face. I can't she, see you. She has weird frumpy clothes all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And then and then she becomes like all edgy and cool and she gives herself a haircut and it looked even worse. Yes. What is the name of that haircut? Uh, the 2004. <laughs> <laughs> It was bad. It was like a pixie haircut. Yeah, Sharon Stone Only had not, one too. But with long bangs. Oh, yeah, like man. an emo... Emo, like, no, emo like, pixie. <laughs> Sharon Stone had just the straight up pixie cut. Yeah, Sharon Stone did but have a pixie cut. Halle Berry didn't. I don't know what that was. Halle Berry went, went to her head with two pairs of scissors because <laughs> why would you do that? I'm a cast. I've become a hairstylist. Yeah. And I want a haircut she and I want it now. Oh, she was like she got like the haircut someone would get in a movie about hairstyling. Actually, you know what that you know what that haircut is? You ever gone to like a supercuts and they still have those photos up like from forever ago and it's got this girl with this weird like blonde hair that just kind of uh-huh. like chunks out everywhere? That was like it was like the hacker's haircut sort of. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to the question is no. I've never been to supercuts. Troglodyte. Yeah, um what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Troglodyte. Troglodyte's a weird thing to say, dude. It's anyway, right oh, and also one. another thing that I really do. So, in general, Catwoman has been for a, for a long time now, for a few decades, a pretty <clears throat> sexualized character. There are versions yeah. of the character that uh, are actual strippers before they become Catwoman. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer's one was pretty sexy too. I yeah, yeah, she's she's it's, it's it's a sexualized character, right? Uh, but this version of Catwoman is so wildly sexualized. Yeah. Like, she's wearing what is basically a stripper uniform thing, where it's like, it's a bra, and there's some other straps, and then <laughs> pants. What were those straps? But torn up know. pants. Yeah. Torn up pants. And she has just arm... Yeah, um, she has leather arm, arm sleeves. sleeves. She Put has a just shirt on if you want sleeves. Right? Come on. Yeah, if you're that cold. And and, and she, she walks and around... a really and, stupid hat. Yeah, that helmet thing, it was gigantic, too. And it went up so high before the cat ears came out. Well, she, like, she wanted to keep her hair intact. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a hairmet. It's almost like a hairmet. <laughs> oh. that's, I, that's from Scrubs. Yeah, I, hate that I remember show. that. Oh, my oh, God. Well, it's gone show. for like a decade now, so... Good. It's not true. They still show, they still show you reruns like crazy. Okay, so... Her uniform is awful. Right. And Just here's bad. the thing with her. In so much as her uniform is highly, highly sexualized, I would agree with you on that. I do not think her as a person or a character in the world is a very sexy character. No. Like, she's not using a lot of sex to get what she wants, or... I think they tried, it just didn't come yeah, off it's right. it's like, that just, they didn't she, quite get that far. The only no. person she gets really flirty with is the person she wants to be her She's boyfriend. already dating. Yeah, she's already dating, so it's really just foreplay. Um, and it's odd, and... It's, it's really, really yeah, strange. It's, it, it's a dichotomy with the character. Yeah. Um... Are we, are we just talking about stuff we hate about this movie now? Yeah, we've, yeah, we've, we've, we've moved, moved on, on to that yeah. <clears throat> for like um, 15, 20 minutes. I hated on. the guy that's the writing forensic guy. And oh, he, oh and Dave you a mean good point. how writing analysis in this world is f- black magic that yeah. tells you exactly how a person is oh. feeling? He's yeah. like, it's not an exact science, but here is exactly what each yeah. of these people are. <laughs> no, he, what each of these letters represents of represents a person. Represents with a person. Oh, yeah. this See this O? o? This She's saucy. Is, no, no, this O, she doesn't play by the rules. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Those R's? That means she's a little hardcore. And then, I mean, like, after his, like, no, no, okay, we don't know exactly everything. Here's exactly every, everything. And then he says, you get those two women in a, in a room together and you got quite a party. Yeah. <laughs> I think he actually said, uh, this isn't a science. <laughs> and <laughs> Dave goes, why are you wearing a lab coat? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the Who fuck is he doing? Who needs a lab coat to analyze handwriting? He's on a computer. He's not even, like, touching anything. <laughs> God, it was <laughs> terrible. It was really bad. Oh, man. That was a good one. Something that really bothered me. There's like quite a few here. She lives next to a bar. Across the Across alleyway. the alleyway. Maybe but 15. But it's in the same building. 15, 20 feet at yeah. best. Well, it's like a bar inside a space that should be an apartment. Yeah. <laughs> There's clearly two stories to this bar. Oh, yeah. That she lives across of. It makes no and real sense. She gets upset 
when they play their music yeah. loud late at night. Just like a last, bar would. Just these last two days, though. <laughs> this is like a new phenomenon somehow. The bar just moved in across the street. Darn bar so owners. So then she goes in and literally kicks down the door with her super cat strength, whatever the f*** that is. The proportional but, strength of a cat. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, haven't you ever seen a cat not able to lift another cat? <laughs> That's cat strength. <laughs> Uh, perhaps this movie was actually a crossover and Ant-Man is in there somewhere. Just doing all the work for Just her? Just doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> he <laughs> still thinks she's strong. He feels bad, even though he had to s skip over universes <laughs> to get there. <laughs> and comic imprints. Yes. Yeah, that one just pissed me off. Because then she goes down, kicks down the door, and like sprays seltzer water over what it has was... to be very expensive audio equipment. Yeah. Which is stupid because um, you never come out that pressurized. Yeah, I mean, it, it was shot far. Oh yeah, yeah. So she basically like just ruins everyone. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's obeying the law. She goes in there and acts like a jerk. Uh, oh, yeah, well, she is a criminal. Is she though? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. stole yeah, a ton of burglar. jewels. She uh, returns her, them. Her claws are stolen diamond, jewels. Yeah. That's what she did not, and the rings she kept. And the necklace. So, and okay, that necklace. yeah, the necklace was what she made the claws out of. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, her birthright as Catwoman. Yeah. Right. Um, that was super. That was like the most expensive thing in the collection that was stolen. Also, and she kept that. Also, this movie's like, by the way, there is history here. Yeah. And cat women who have been summoned forth by this one particular Egyptian cat yeah. uh, mm. have been around for thousands of years <laughs> stealing shit and protecting the innocent. Sometimes. I guess. When it's handy. <laughs> Yeah. If they're on their way to steal something and they see some wrongdoing, this like real wrongdoing, then they just it. really feel yeah. like they shouldn't let happen. Then I guess they'll do it and then go back to thievery. Yeah. You know what else? Uh, since you were talking about, not actually, I don't think you were talking about that. So the detective. Another thing I didn't like that involved the detective uh, was the uh, playground scene from Daredevil Part 2. Oh, right. Where they have, they play basketball together, and if that wasn't an over-sexualized scene, I don't know what was. Around a group of children, by the oh, way. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah they're like Halle Berry's grinding. Yeah, they're grinding, Halle like, is, yeah, showing off her ass to him and stuff. Yeah, Ooh. it's, it's, and Halle Berry, like, practically dunks on the guy, and she's doing a bunch of crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, and... He he never like thinks back to this later and right. is like, that was weird. She might be a Catwoman. He figures out like by finding her like a a nail, one of those jewel encrusted nails, just laying on the ground. Like she would ever just leave those around. I actually think the thing that tips him off is the lipstick imprint. It's a ninety nine point no, no, no. nine percent match. That was that was what uh, what he he had tested after he oh, found the nail. Okay. He was Man. like, well, I guess I better test this. Yeah. I don't even know where that lipstick imprint came from. Well, because she, the, no, no, fight scene. she didn't kiss him. She licked his face. I know, but then he, he had lip prints. It was yeah, like, I know. Stupid. There's no way the lip prints got no. there because oh. she just licked his face. In the scene, <clears throat> in the scene where she licked his face, there's, a, there's the lip imprint. That's what we said. That doesn't make any sense. Yes. I know, it didn't make any sense, but it was still there. And then how do you get the cup? Did you just steal it after they had lunch? Yeah. Well, no, after he woke up and she was still asleep and he found the nail and then he took a cup and uh. left a note that was like, had something to do. Took your Slash, cup. Slash, I took a cup and I'm going <laughs> to get you caught up in a murder thing. That basketball, going back to that. Yeah. Another moment where she's acting way too much like a cat and these skills should not be transferable. Yeah, into she's, basketball. She's playing with the basketball like a cat would. <laughs> <laughs> play with yeah. a bowl of yarn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just for a second, and then she starts going nuts with it. Right, there's no reason whatsoever that she should be good at playing basketball. With cat skills. With cat skills. Right, yeah, especially since she apparently had no idea how to play basketball. She uh, was doing, like, Harlem Globetrotter I would like to point out to you all that there are several movies in which a golden retriever picks oh. up sports. Well, that's fine. He's uh, a dog. The Air Bud franchise. Go kill yourself, Dave. I'm never watching those. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying that we're going to watch those, although I think that would be an awesome season <laughs> where we just watch Air Buds. Dude, there are so many of those. <laughs> we should have a month of just animal-related movies. But It'd be more than a month. Ooh. That being said, I'm not talking about that. There's no... The point is, there's no cat playing basketball anywhere. Not no. on the internet. You can't find like a cat playing legitimate basketball. No, of course no, not. Because it doesn't exist. No. Here's, oh. here's something unrelated that was also terrible. 
She purred an R oh. in near, a sentence. Near the beginning of the movie and never again. Oh. No, it, she purred once. She purred one other time and it She purred, me. but she didn't purr a purr word. Purr a word, yeah. That word purr for, what was it, perfect? She was just like, me. that's perfect. Oh. And she did it for too long, It too. was really, oh. ups, like, disturbingly gross. Yeah. It just made me feel sick. Uh, yeah. I was just like, ugh, I'm watching this. And you know the writer, when he wrote that down, was like, oh, run, bro. Got that sh Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, it's, she's like a cat. She's like a cat. She's like a cat. Either that or the director was like, hey, roll that R. <laughs> I get the, <laughs> from what I've read, I get the impression that the director was just like, it's all about the fashion and the sex appeal. Yeah. And that's like what he was about. And that's yet, all yet somehow he the, wanted. The um, bad company or corporation was a beauty product line. Uh, by what I've read, I feel that way. I mean, there is a quote of him basically saying that. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, so another, speaking of the beauty line. Uh, so I mentioned earlier that the... Uh, the beauty product, like if you stop using it, it'll melt your face and it gives yeah. you migraines. But if you keep using it, it'll give you marble hard skin. Yeah. Uh, because th because there needed to be a fight in the end where there was someone who could actually fight Halle Bailey. Yeah, a was... cat fight. A cat fight. Oh. <laughs> you left the table for like three minutes and you came back and Which said cat that. cat fight? I hate you. <laughs> But hey. diamond, it's it's really hard skin, or it melts your face. Right. There's there's there are some levels to this <laughs> this product. I, if if that actually got out, it'd be like, oh, it kills you. But oh, we should really work on this because that has military applications. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the pros and cons are very far apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> oh hey, the soundtrack was bad. Oh the, no, the soundtrack oh. was awful. Hey, how about it was terrible. It guys, was it, terrible. Guys? It was terrible. Guys. Yeah. Everything about this movie was terrible. Yes, Brett? It, it was terrible. Oh, another bad thing that I, I had written down here at the end. Uh, Halle Berry stops the 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 actual shipping of the uh, Buleen, oh, the beauty product, yeah. by uh, putting a chain uh, on the bottom of a truck she's going to drive and running it through the axles of six other trucks. And then she drives that. And it's just like a normal chain. Like, I could buy it at Home Depot for like 20 bucks. And she, well, Whoa. it's a pretty long chain, so it'll probably be a little more than that. But she she drives the truck away, and it yanks the wheels off of six of the trucks. And that chain is not nearly as strong as the axle of a big truck, yeah. let alone six Which of Which I think them. is also the drivetrain of the truck. Yeah. So it would I have mean, just gotten wrapped up. This is, I mean, they, they, those, those things are meant to hold up tons of weight. Right. And a little chain breaks them all. Yeah, stupid. Oh my god, the murder setup in the end oh, of the movie. How quick, how Which, quick it all came together. Well, she was like, oh yeah, uh, the, the evil lady got her, got Catwoman to come to her house because Catwoman thought that she wasn't the evil lady. She thought that her husband was evil, but he wasn't. He was just a dick because he works in the fashion industry. Um, <laughs> and so the evil lady brings her that, yeah. to... Hey, now. <laughs> the, the evil lady brings her to the house, and then she's like, oh, yeah, everything that we need to be, that is needed to convict someone of uh, yeah, this is crime that is in that there. room. Go over there. And she goes in there, and the le evil lady's husband is he's killed, dead. and it makes it look like Catwoman did it. And then... Well, he's the, been shot, and he has scratches all over. Right. Him. Yeah, and so then the lady throws a gun at Catwoman, and she's like, oh, and she's like, you Who? got the smoking gun. Who's wearing gloves, by the way. Yeah, Catwoman's wearing gloves. That wouldn't help at all. What the f***? No. Well, then the security well, guards and came then, in, and they wait, seen She calls the, the security, and within seconds they are there. That security is on point. But it's like, it's not even like seconds, like as if he came running in. It's almost you could see him starting from behind the wall, and he just kind of like, oh, okay, here I am. Yeah, I'm I like, know. It's unrealistically oh, on point. It was so... That's because he was an actor that was right behind the wall. It was like, exactly. Where's my cue? Where's my cue? Yeah. Where's and, my cue? Action John! And <sighs> she starts crying and falling into the arms of the first security guard, and the, <laughs> oh, second, Catwoman, yeah. the second Catwoman is out of the room. She stops ca crying, and even she's though like, she's still in the arms <laughs> of the guy. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, yeah. yeah, they do that all the time in movies where it's like, oh, the person I'm... I Not would've... trying to fool has right. left the room. I might as well stop faking yeah, now. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. Yeah, terrible scene. Yeah, it was bad. Trivia time? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Do some trivia. Yeah. Trivia time with Brett. It's, it's... it's a trivia song. Here we are. Uh, Halle Berry became one of only six actors in history, only five at the time, to possess both an Oscar and a Razzie after her win for the infamous, inf- infamous <laughs> performance in this movie. She also uh, became the first to accept her Razzie in person, walking out on stage proudly holding both her Oscar and her Razzie. Uh, a rough cut of the trailer was put online a few months before the film's release. It drew such heavy criticism that it was quickly pulled and soon replaced with a new trailer that did not feature any dialogue, <laughs> which I thought was awesome. <laughs> yeah, good choice on their part, oh, you know, I, except for not scrapping the movie. I don't know. Yeah, that, I, yeah they should just, after that, they should have known. Maybe it's time to stop. Um, also, this they should have known. Uh, the movie had to undergo reshoots after testing so poorly with screeners only a month left before it had to be released. Oh, wow. That is viciously terrible. Oh, yeah. One of Halle Berry's stunt doubles is actually a 29-year-old Hawaiian male actor. He's an expert in martial arts. What? So some of that <laughs> sexy body scene might have been a man. Um, and, oh, the fighting style of Catwoman is known as the Brazilian martial art as capoeira, which yeah. I thought was hilarious because capoeira is actually just dancing. Well, it's dance, dance fighting. fighting. Yes. But yes, okay. I've, I've heard of that before. Uh, That's not weird. Is it, is yeah, it, it Tekken? Is. Yeah, Tekken. Eddie and Tekken. Tekken. Eddie and Tekken, he uses that. What? In the Tekken video games, Eddie. He's the... Most people think he's breakdancing, but it's capoeira. That's, how is that fighting, though? It is, it's, you well, when you your feet and you kick If you swing people. your feet around enough and you hit someone, it's fighting now. No. <laughs> <laughs> guess that's really the best of the best. Yeah. Wow, there really wasn't much. Well, there's some other in the spoilers, but I don't remember if they were good enough. So, Ian, how would you fix this movie? I would fix this movie by making sure that Joel Schumacher <clears throat> did not direct Batman Forever. Wait, did he direct? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And produced it? I don't know, uh, probably. Sure. Okay. He's a director, though. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he also produced it, though, too. <clears throat> because... Yeah. Catwoman was originally going to come out as Tim Burton's third movie. And so they were having someone else do the next Batman movie, and they picked the wrong guy because he made it too lighthearted. And then the first Catwoman script came into the office the same day that Batman Forever came out. And the Catwoman script was dark as hell because Tim Burton's Batman stuff was dark as hell. And Batman Forever was not dark, so it just didn't gel. And so they had to quit. They, they quit it. They didn't do it. And it would have been a ton better movie. And it would have starred Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. And it would have it would have been a sequel. And it would have been good. So I just wouldn't have had uh, Joel Schumacher do Batman Forever. I would have chosen someone else. Almost anyone else. I like how probably. that's how to fix this movie. Yeah, because this movie <laughs> wouldn't have been made. Movie. If, well, <laughs> this would have made, movie would have been made like what, six years earlier, and it would have been a lot better. Yeah. And it would have starred Michelle Pfeiffer as a Catwoman that was loved. I would not touch this movie. Oh, why? Because I would want to see a reboot of this movie uh, circa 2012. Why why 2012? Christopher Nolan hired uh, the, the reboot of... The Batman yeah, franchise. He did. A, he did Catwoman. Well, yeah, but he could do a spinoff where like. And you know what? She she didn't have superpowers. And she, she was had a great. Thing, and she had a thing for cat stuff. She was a good Catwoman. I don't remember Christopher Nolan's Catwoman right now. She, she was, was in the, the third, third one, uh, which was the weakest movie. But oh, she was. It was. A good it was. What's her name? Uh, Anne Hathaway. Anne, yeah. yeah, Anne Hathaway. I didn't like that. And that she much. was fine. Well, she was okay. She wasn't she was actually fine. that great. She was no. fine. Because they didn't do Catwoman wrong. I mean, she was better than this. No, yeah. absolutely. So I want to see the Anne Hathaway spinoff. Well, that won't happen now that DC has a new universe going on. Yeah, it's bullshit. But but if they do Catwoman again, she better not have superpowers. Because that would be stupid. <laughs> it's like giving Chung Lee one of those little force pushes. What? What? The Hadoukens or whatever. Hadouken. Yeah, Hadouken. She's got one of those. Like, forever. But she didn't. Okay. What? What are you talking? <laughs> she didn't start off with one. Hey, Dave. Yeah, great. Cut and snip. Go, any, find, go great, find someone who cares. Great. In Street Fighter, anyone oh, can learn that. You can f- 
talk about Eddie from Tekken all you want, but we, the second I bring up Street Fighter, well, we, we were talking Capoeira. We mentioned okay. him oh. organically through Capoeira yeah. fighting. I'm just saying, in the universe of Street Fighter, she could theoretically have learned that, and it wouldn't be that big a deal. She just needed to have patience, oh, which right. if she did, that's great. Catwoman she was patience. Oh my. <laughs> He did. Dylan just threw a pen at David. He did just make it Guys, come all the way back around. <laughs> you're not I'm bleeding. Not. Well, we can't tell because you're wearing a sweater while you're holding it. Don't yourself. take it off. So, Wait, Brett, what how, we, would, how yeah. would you fix this movie? That is a very hard question. Isn't it? Um, I really, I really have no answer. I cannot even try. I don't know. This movie is... I don't, I don't know. A whole other director, a whole other writer, a plot. Um, I, I'd go with a director with two names. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of the director? I don't know. His name starts with a P, but he only has one name, and it's always a bad sign for me, man. <laughs> man. That means they made it up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> or they didn't have the creativity to make up a last name. That'd be funny if it was like Jerry Bruckheimer. I he was doubt just like, it. I'm going to give a shot at this. Let's see. I don't know. I really doubt it. No, this dude just was a piece of crap. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it was terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know how to fix it. I really don't. Perfect. I. I don't want to have to go into exactly what I would do to fix this movie because it's not about what this movie is. Uh, it would it would be a starting from like a page one thing. Uh, Catwoman doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, you've been that's... pushing that pretty hard this podcast, yeah, yeah. Dylan. And, Tell uh, us how you really feel. And then we go we go from there, and you build a movie around a Catwoman who is who's who's never portrayed as a CGI creature crawling across a wall. And then, and then, and then, and then you build a movie based on yeah. a character that that isn't a f cat in human skin. Well, you got to build a thing off a character that isn't that doesn't magically get powers. You get a you have a character that worked to get what she got, and she's good because no, of you just trying. have a, you just have a cat breathe on your face and you got it. You're good. Kill yourself, Brett. <laughs> I that might was have a, to this movie. It was pretty rough, Dylan. Shut up. Yeah, it, uh, you got some feelings here. <laughs> some uh, feelings. feelings. What are we watching next? Feelings. Uh, I have... Oh, I finally have some ideas. Do you? I have a list of bad comic book movies. What? Did you send it to us? Brett? On? Never suggest. You get the honor of suggesting the first movie. Okay, the first one I would suggest, and I have a few lined up. First one I would suggest is Ghost Rider. Which one? I don't know. He has like three of them. Two I'm of talking them. about oh, two of them. Okay. Well, three if you count Drive Angry, but that wasn't actually a Ghost Rider. <laughs> um, basically, guess, Ghost Rider. I guess though. I would do the second one, which is like Vengeance something. Yeah, yeah. Spirit of Vengeance. It's on my list. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, Both of them are on the list. That would yeah, of course. See, I, That'd be the first suggestion. Here's my first suggestion. Since we already have uh, Catwoman oh, acting gosh. like Spider Man, no, let's uh, just do Spider Man. Spider-Man Spider 1 but there's, three? No. But there's, there's no Spider-Man movie where Spider-Man acts like a cat. <laughs> so, but doesn't Spider-Man 3 have... Uh, Spider-Man 3 is the everything bad that you've ever man. heard of spider But Spider-Man. no, yeah. the, it's got... What's her face who's the cat person? Not, is it not Kitty Pride? Uh, Kitty Pride? Black Cat? Black Cat. No. no, she's... Well, there's a character who would have been that if they didn't just f*** up the... Wait, did... No, she no, that? No, no, that wasn't She was technically... No, she wasn't oh, in that. No, she no. Was, she's not in that movie. Uh, you're thinking of... Uh, they put Amazing Spider-Man 2 had that character in it as Electric Norman Google. Osborn's secretary of all people and like never becomes like a villain or anything. She's just named, uh, I can't remember it. All right, Spider-Man 3 is my first suggestion. Okay, well, uh, I'll read you my list. Of, oh, no, uh, just, no just, one just one suggestion. Just one, just one suggestion. Uh, Spider-Man 3 is actually at the top of my list. But, ooh, there are so many, so many bad comic book movies. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Mystery Men. Mystery oh, Men. A good one. Uh, it's, no, it's no. terrible. It's no. terrible. Nostalgia's tricking you, Brett. I watched this movie a few years ago, and nostalgia had tricked me too, and it does no longer. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good cast. Yeah, that doesn't save movies. That's he's, true, actually. He's the shoveler. That's the true. shoveler. My <laughs> God. I shovel well. It's what I do. <laughs> yeah, it's what I shovel crazy. very well. Oh, right, my Ian, God. Ian, what's yours? Um. Okay, right you, now. He, are you. What are you doing? Yeah. That? One oh, brother is fingering fuck. the other brother's phone. Ugh. Name it. Dylan wants me to choose Green Lantern, but... It's I'm the other not. one I was going to do. It was Green Lantern. Oh. Or um, Spawn. That's a terrible film. Yeah, it's been... It's, it's, 
you know, you know, it's been a, it's been a long Nostalgia. time since I saw it. It's been a long time since I saw it, and I was almost like, I like that movie, but I th- I gotta think about it mm-hmm. because that's one of those movies that I liked as a kid, and is I know it's not John good. John Leguizamo's now. character is horrible. John Leguizamo. Yeah, he's uh, the clown. Yeah, I know. Ugh. John Leguizamo. Leguizamo. That's a big fat suit for John. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I read a I read a lot of the Spawn comic, and it is surprisingly okay to the comic. But that doesn't mean anything. It, no, but, but it didn't do but a very good job. But it doesn't, it's not good. <laughs> now that we've all threw one out. I, oh, I haven't thrown one out. I do think Green Lantern's Green a great Lantern's choice, a though. Green Lantern's a bad f- movie. Blade Trilogy, or Trinity. Trinity, that's Trinity. also yes. on my list. Oh, man. How did Ryan Reynolds get into so many um, oh, comic book movies and ruin almost all of them? All he right, didn't PD. ruin them. He was not yeah, the worst right, part other. of PD. any of those on my movies. List now. You, yes, he what is. is on your list? He not. plays the same character in every movie. Well, he plays Ryan Reynolds. Right, and Except, only it worked for Deadpool. Yeah, because Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. Exactly. <laughs> well, not in X Men Origins of Wolverine. Uh, no, no, the actual character of Deadpool, not oh. the character, not like Wade Wilson. Right. In in uh, in in X Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, is 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 portrayed properly, but after he becomes Deadpool, is not. Is he is I'm not saying. portrayed right. properly, and he's also not portrayed by Ryan Reynolds. What? Nope, not Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, is they, Deadpool they, the the guy up there? No. Yeah, yeah they they it's someone else in makeup. It's like no. a stunt double in makeup. Yep. Yeah. Mm. It's, yeah. So yeah, that's not even. That's insane because he did he did do some good stunts. It was probably all CG. Yeah. That movie had bad CG. Oh my too. god, terrible. Come on, Ian. I hated um, that scene where he just keeps flashing back and forth on the Shut fucking, up. Okay. Yeah, well, how about X-Men Origins Wolverine, though? That is a good one. That is a good <laughs> choice. Right. So I say we all draw a card from the deck. Highest number? And the highest card is the movie we watch. You better shuffle really? that deck again. I think again. we should vote on it. They're, I like, they're I like pretty the much deck. all on the list. Yeah, well, they're all on a list. I mean, we did do a coin flip once. For we did a coin flip, but yeah. that was a bad idea, and we've never done it again. Well. I mean, that got us G-Force. Who picked what? <laughs> I pick, Are we only picking? Okay. Who picked what? Who picked like? What's your number one? I pick Spider Man Three. Spider Man Three. Because uh, uh, because it has the wall climbing attack. The thing I don't like and about the, picking that one though is so many movie podcasts do that one. And emo Parker, good lord. Yeah, that is a great one though. Um, I will say, uh, boy, I guess I'll I'll stick with Ghost Rider, Vengeance, whatever. Spirit of Vengeance. Spirit of Vengeance. Just because it's got Cage. True, it does have a cage. I, suge- cage. I suggested that we start the season with a cage movie, and mm. Dave shot me down. Dumb, dumb Dave. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb Dave. Yeah. <laughs> That's catching on. <laughs> All right, Dylan? Uh, mine was... You can't remember, and you have to look back at the list. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, I'll just throw on the thing I told you. Green Lantern. Mine is Green Lantern. I like that one. I am going with... Blade Trilogy? <coughs> Trinity? Trinity? Good God. Giver. What? Oh, Giver? Giver? Oh, Giver's bad. What the f*** is Giver? It's based on a manga. Based on a what? Look, my number's real low. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four diamonds. He's got a two diamonds! Yes! So far, oh, I'm in the lead. No. Uh, three! Holy oh, sh! No. If it's a queen, I'll be so pissed. Oh no, we're gonna have to watch Green Lantern. <laughs> Do it! No! <laughs> Dylan won with a seven! See, that was fun! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, well, Green Lantern is a good choice. It is a terrible, terrible, boring, boring movie. So uh, and it's got Ryan Reynolds in it. Yeah, and he's in a lot of bad movies. I really like Ryan Reynolds, too. I don't. But, I and, I, and I wanted to like that movie, and I, I could not bring myself to. How long to. is it? It's, it's probably a long one. Like it's a pretty hours. long yeah, one. Oh. I know. Another f- two-hour film. Don't worry about it, Dave. The cards have spoken. <laughs> and it backfired. It was your idea. It's okay. It was your idea. So if you if you liked if you liked the podcast for this week, comment on it. Maybe subscribe to the channel on uh, Stitcher. What, what are we on? Stitcher and well, Stitcher. Stitcher is such a horrible site. It doesn't even update our podcast anymore. <laughs> um, so don't go to Stitcher. That Stitcher. Uh, go to go to go to Google Play podcasts or uh, iTunes podcasts. We're we're on both of those or to DTLpodcast.com and you can find links to all of those. And we have a Facebook page and a Twitter. What's it's, what's the handles? At DTL Podcast. Yeah, at DTL everything's Pod- DTL Podcast. Everything's <laughs> DTL Podcast. Hashtag DTL Podcast. Everything's DTL Podcast, which stands for Darkest Timeline Podcast. Uh, I mean, if I we missed anything in the movie, feel free to tweet or Facebook it. 
and tell us how how terrible we missed you, this one part that you, you you're loved. Clearly up on social media. Well, Facebook it. Facebook it. Um, but hey, we could we could really use you and your friends listen to our podcast more because we we would like to have a reason we, to continue we are doing struggling it. Struggling <laughs> to find a reason. Yeah. So hour and fourteen minutes, Green Lantern. Oh An God, it's way two better. hours. You mean two hours and fourteen minutes? No, oh wait, no, I mean, um, I meant uh, 114 minutes. That's what oh. I meant. To oh, say. so less than oh, two hours. Sorry. Just. Ooh. Yeah, but it's hour and 14 less. would have been oh. awesome. Oh, That's sorry. what I thought too. I'm like, yeah. it's barely a movie. My mind put a colon where it shouldn't <laughs> yeah. have been. Oh man. Right. Join us next time at the Darkest Timeline. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry's not nearly enough. Okay. Then let me try the remix. Stop that, stop that. You're not going into a song while I'm here.